Hey everybody, I'm uh, just exploring in some farm road, a small farm road in here in Shizuoka. A little winded, I'm walking a bit. Um, found a, a, a dead car, an abandoned car. This is something you don't see very often here in Japan. Lots of abandoned stuff up here. Abandoned computer monitor here. Can you say hello 90s? And a man in a washing machine over there. A lot of people like in Japan, just like elsewhere, people often go to these uh, settings like this to dump stuff off the side of a cliff. Seems to be a mentality that out of sight, out of mind. This is an abandoned washing machine. Right there, this part, his unit on the side right there, I think that's a spin cycle. You put that in and it's got a little spinner. It spins and gets all the uh, water out. You don't see these anymore, these kind of washing machines. It's like, you know, Hello 1975. Yeah. Abandoned bath. No, that's another washing machine right there. You can see the switch right there. There's abandoned the fridge. Let's see if there's any beer in there. This is like a Toshiba freezing ace. It's on the, oh, it's on the three side. No wonder it's so cold. Yeah, let's warm things up a little bit. Back down to one. Maybe I'll put that backwards. He's got the uh, mini pocket area there for the uh, the fresh corner. Can you imagine? This must have been somebody, the apple of someone's eye, no pun intended for. You can keep a whole cow in here? Wow. Livestock. What is this one? That must be pig. Oh, yeah, it's pig. Pig. That's what vultures, sharks, and oxen. They're all set. Down here, you can keep uh, more small trays inside. You can keep, uh, a, a, you know, a half a pine cone. Or let's see, that's raccoon testicles, I don't know. Great stuff, let's see if there's anything in the freezer. Ooh, big spiders. No big spiders. Great space for the big spiders. This is for frozen foods. Yes, you can keep a, you can keep a bomb in here. But you can keep on pom man or knives with a funny handle and holes in the middle. Strange. Okay, what else is up here? Well, this, this thing I want to show you this is an abandoned car video. I know there might be something up there. There's an abandoned road. This is full of abandoned stuff. This is an abandoned switch of some sort. It's got the on and the off positions. This is a circuit breaker. Oh, it's a circuit breaker. A circuit breaker, yeah. No touch. What's that? Another circuit breaker? More of the same. Yeah. It's got a pole. This is a pole, and these are mounted onto it. So this is the whole kit and caboodle was taken and dumped up here. There's some electrical things. So here's what I wanted to show you. Let's see if we get closer. We'll see if there's anything interesting as well. There's a little dust pad. There's an abandoned uh, tire and some blocks. And here's something you wouldn't see probably outside of Asia. These little mat things. Probably lots of abandoned stuff down there. I've uh, explored these uh, type of community dumps. I don't know if that's what this is, but I've explored community dumps in the past. And very interesting down by the bottom sometimes. Here's what I came to focus on. Here's an abandoned car. Let's take a look at it from this side, shall we? Really pretty rare to see these. Sometimes way up in the mountains, I'll find cars that have been pushed over the side of a cliff. I remember seeing that kind of thing in the States as well. The uh, license plate is gone. This appears to be a Nissan Avenir Salute X. Let's go take a closer look, shall we? Back on. Looks like there's stuff inside. This is from the uh, auto shop. Hagiwara. There's the number right there. I'll bet you that place is still in business. Probably a very uh, it's probably a dude named Hagiwara who runs it and uh, takes very good care of his customers. Probably be sad to see that uh, one of his cars had wound up like this. What is this? That doesn't look like a normal old rock, doesn't it? Look at that. Something to this. Probably is just a normal old rock. But in Japan, anything that's got the hint of not being Oh, look at that, look at that. Doesn't this look 
They're just me, guys. Those two ridges on there. But there might be something to this. I'm going to take this one home. Examine it closer at home. Okay, I'm talk. okay well, this guy's been put up on, on uh, scissor jacks. Tires and looks like the entire uh, stripped a little bit. Tire under the what is it called? The differential and stuff back here. They've been removed. Tank is still there. Gas tank exhaust and stuff. Be some little bit here. And the front tire. And then it's okay. got a bridge stone. All that stuff in place. Yeah. And here in Japan, the windows retract a little motor. Here you can see the motor mechanism for. Uh, Adjusting the mirror, and it's been pushed back. It would retract the other way. Come and push it, see how it comes out, and then see how it retracts in. So it's got this. So, normally, in operation method, make sure there's nobody in there. This guy, in normal operation, it would be like this you push a button, and you got into a parking situation. So, because parking is narrow, and people are walking through the parking lot, they'll hit the thing, right? So, you push the button, and it pulls in like that, or then like that, and you clear the area. But just in case some, you leave it out and some ding-dong comes walking by and bonk, it'll fold back like that as well. So you're safe. Um, okay, looks like someone's had some fun with the window, the windshield here. A bit busted in. It's probably the rocks that did it. Come on here. The license plates are moved. I wonder if I, you know, I don't know. I've been here and I drive and I have a license and I own a car, but do Japanese vehicles have uh, vehicle identification numbers? VIN numbers? I don't know. I feel precarious to walk over here. It's kind of edgy. Ho ho. <laughs> okay, this one has been folded back as well. Let's poke. Can you see inside? See lots and lots of paperwork and stamps and CD case. And looks like they had a kid. There's a little a kid's calculator there. Let's walk over here. I'll try to open the door on the other side. See these things right here? These are these rain gutter things. They work really well. You can open the window up a bit when it's raining. Have a, might get a wet inside. Gas caps still there. Poke inside. Yeah, these people may have had kids. They see, they see a blankie there with a looks like a kid style blankie or a jacket or something. God, I hope there's not a body in there. Something mound under this uh, door here. Definitely a blankie. Let's take over and take a look, shall we? It's open. Let's peek inside, shall we? By the way, I've kind of uh, changed my policy a bit. Ooh, spooky. Look at that. It's like dried seaweed. All over the uh, draping the uh, seat there. Look like dried seaweed. More. What is that? They're just growing here. Can you imagine the temperatures in the the temperatures in the summer months? Lots of bags of clothing. It's been here for a while. This is just turning away. This plastic is gone. Bags and bags of clothes. Here, let's take a look up here. Stuff stuffed in there. I wonder if someone's living in here. Change my policy a little bit. Decided to uh, begin. Poking around more and stuff like this. I'll tell you why in a minute. Something there. Here's they had a custom steering wheel. This is someone who cared about their car. This is an aftermarket steering wheel. They probably uh, paid some money for that. Uh, this is from Shizuoka Bank. This is a bank book things. I heard a noise just now from here. Stuff over here. Well, I'll bet you there's paperwork in here with their name in here. They could probably identify who, who this was. There's stuff up here. Who knows what this stuff's all about? Glove box is open. Right. There's a puddle of water right there, isn't it? Pulling water, glass. <sighs> hmm. Spooky, eh? What do you guys think? Should I open the, the hatch in the back? Should I? Mm -hmm.
try it. There we go. Locked. Okay. So if I just peek back there, but that's spooky. There's definitely something mounded. Can you see there's something mounded? Piled up more green stuff on top of it and mounded under there. I didn't smell that a hat or something. I didn't smell anything like decay or anything, so I think I think we're cool. <clears throat> Get a little glimpse of the uh, surrounding environs up here. Uh, there is a uh, building right there through the trees, but it's, you know, looks pretty much abandoned as well. Abandoned uh, some sort of a work structure for a farmers or something like that. Not much of anything up here. Abandoned trail that might warrant a look-see. Interesting abandoned car. I, I really haven't seen one like this before. But in all my wandering into Japan, one that was clearly just driven to a spot put on jacks, the wheels were or just driven to a spot and walked away from, which seems to be the case here. More about, let, let me tell you why I was going to, what I meant before. Um, I'm going to explore things more, and I'll talk about this in other videos as well. I recently had an experience where an old uh, uh, doctor's office, clinic, probably from the uh, uh, Meiji period, was uh, had been empty for eight years, and uh, I had glimpsed it from outside, taken photographs a few times, never got it very close, so they recently tore it down. Beautiful architecture, wonderful structure, and it's gone. I don't think anybody captured or preserved the images or memory of it. So I've got a, I've, I've got a little, and I really, I, I drove past and I saw that, and I went, oh my gosh, maybe maybe I'm being too too tricky on, you know, about this, not getting into stuff that's abandoned. Maybe it's important, and especially now that I have a channel that's dedicated to this stuff, to act as a documentation documentarian, is that a word? to act to document these things a little more, preserve their memory before they're gone, either through bulldozers or before the uh, forest reclaims. I've seen plenty of buildings where the buildings are just gone, and all the remains of the roof tiles on the, on the ground, so dilapidated and gone. So you may see me opening and pulling open the handles more often. We'll leave this car for now. Thanks for dropping by to have a look, everybody. We have abandoned, uh, abandoned uh, Nissan Avenir up in the mountains. Central Japan. Take care. Bye-bye.